this is Mitzi. I'm out and about exploring life from the mad side, so please leave a message. Hello and welcome to Mitzi TV. I'm Mitzi Soretto and today we're enjoying a nice cup of tea at Bookham Grange, a country hotel located in Surrey, just outside London. Ah, there's nothing like the peace and quiet of the countryside on a Sunday afternoon. Hark, is that a hog I hear? chatting with Dick Gregory assistant director of Hogsback right and I think the main question is are you born to be wild oh born to be wild maybe uh, later later on in life uh, I've realized that maybe I'm born to be a little bit wild just a little bit just a little bit well I mean I've been kind of wondering are hog people born or are they made Ooh, I think they're probably born but a lot of us don't know it until later on in life when does this epiphany hit I'm waiting <laughs> Uh, in my case, on my 50th birthday. So I am with? You are with Howard Bolton. And your position is, or should I ask? No, my position is the activities officer for the Hogsback chapter. And tell us a bit about the Hogsback chapter. What's the deal? What's the background? Right, the Hogsback chapter is a renamed chapter. It used to be known as the Surrey chapter. And we brought a new dealership in March. And along with the new dealership, which is right on the side of the Hogsback which is an area in Surrey, and taking that HOG stands for Harley Owners Group, we rode off to America and said, can we use the HOGS Mac as, as our chapter name? And uh, Milwaukee wrote back and said, as long as you don't split the HOG from the back, you can use it. So we're now officially the HOGS Mac chapter. I'm here with Roger, who's the charities officer with the Hogsback chapter. Uh, what do you do when you're not doing Hogsback chapter business? God, uh, then I'm uh, a self-employed uh, camera person. That's what I do for a living. And yeah. what, is, what do you say most of the people here do? I mean, is there a typical person who is participating here? Um, uh, the only typical person is somebody who loves bikes, loves Harleys. Um, they're not, uh, they come from all sorts of different backgrounds, painters, decorators, um, accountants, bankers, uh, a lot of self-employed people. People just generally love Harleys, basically. Right. Well, I mean, I'm looking at these Harleys, and they don't look like something you can pick up on the cheap at uh, <laughs> your local discount shop. Um, uh, maybe not, but you've got to start somewhere. Everybody, I mean, I started on a bike that was second-hand, uh, cost me 3000 and that was the price. I mean, the price of the near Suzuki was the same sort of price, so I decided to sell my BMW and go for a Harley instead. Uh, what would you say the average uh, Harley would cost now to someone new? I oh, I see. Well, they range from 5000 I think, yeah, 5000 to uh, anything up to 25000 And we're talking sterling? Yeah, £25,000 right, sterling, right, yeah. Right. Uh, tell me really uh, briefly about what, you, what type of charities you get involved with. Um, we, the three charities that we collect money for 
um, are the Surrey Air Ambulance. Um, they obviously need our money. Um, a children's trust called the Rainbow uh, Trust um, for disadvantaged children. And uh, the third one is for the Alzheimer's Society. I can never remember that, but you can understand why. <laughs> and I'm here with? Ruth Palmer. And what is your position here in the HOG group? I'm the Lady of Harley officer. Ah, what does that mean? Well, that means I have to look after the ladies that do ride and the ladies that don't ride. And so. are there a lot of ladies that ride? Yeah, at present there's um, 42 ladies of Harley in the Hogbacks chapter and there's 12 ladies that ride. And there's a few more, I think, coming on board, hopefully soon. Is this relatively new, having a ladies' chapter? No, it's, it's not a ladies' chapter. It's always been part of, a, of the chapter scenario. And it's nice that, you know, the more ladies that ride and get involved and the ladies that don't ride can also be very much involved. And what would you say is the reaction you generally get when you tell people what you do? It's, gosh, you know, how long have you been doing it? And, uh, you know, what made you want to become a, a Lady of Harley rider? And, and uh, you know, they're very, very interested in in why I want to do it. And it's, it's such an adrenaline rush, that's the thing. You know, when you're on a bike, it's the world is your oyster and you can just go anywhere and you just feel so free. Yeah, I think, I think that's the appeal to me as well, is the freedom. I mean, Do you I, ride? Oh, no. I, no. <laughs> I, I used to ride a little Honda 250cc wimpy wow. motorbike in LA. Uh, no, I drove into a wall. I think that's the... Well, that's, <laughs> that not, could... that's not wimpy, 250, no. <laughs> no, well, I drove into a wall. That wasn't too impressive. No. no, no. But... So, so do you think I should move up to a Harley? Maybe it's time? Yeah, I should think so. Yeah. 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 Do you well, fancy any one of these bikes you've seen today? Oh, I like a lot of these bikes, actually, especially the ones with the little bears on the back, because oh, well, I have a bear yeah. and he can ride with me. Oh, brilliant, yeah. Yeah. It's useful to have somebody just to keep an eye on you when you're riding. Well, what about the weight of it? Do you ever feel a bit dwarfed by it? I mean, they are, they're not exactly uh, tiny. No, the old bikes, well, they are heavy, but when you're going, they're so safe and secure. And when you're in a windy ride, that you know they don't blow over quite so easily as a sports bike. But, hey, you've got the guys to help you lift the bikes up when they fall over. Mm, I see, <laughs> yes. So chivalry is alive and well definitely, with hog ride. Definitely. So I definitely yeah. need to be a hog rider then. Yes, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll come running. And I'm here with? Headley. And this is? This is our sofa teddy bear. Uh, uh, what's the deal? What's he doing here? He's, uh, he's promoting the sofa uh, rally, which uh, sofa stands for South of England rally. It's the biggest rally in the UK for uh, all hog members. It's uh, just a ticket only affair, goes off every August, um, first week in August, and it's a 2,000 ticket only event. Right, how long has this been going on then? Uh, this year was the sixth year. Right, and so do other bears come? Because I have a bear and if he would have known about today, he definitely would have wanted to show up. Well, he could come if he's a hog member. Can he join? I mean, you don't have any criteria or anything? I mean, he's, he's, he's a bit smaller, but... Well, he has to be uh, a pillion on a, a Harley Davidson. I don't have a Harley. Does that disqualify me? It certainly does. Sorry. You have to go I... out and buy one. <laughs> oh, is it? will you buy me one? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not a sugar daddy. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm not having any luck today. Thank you for speaking to us. It's a pleasure. It's nice to meet you as well. It's a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Reporting from the back of a hog in the pastoral English countryside outside London, this is Mitzi Soretto, signing off.